Greetings everyone, welcome to Hila Cooking. So if you haven't heard on the news, because you know, everyone talks about Texas all the time, it is freezing butt ass cold here. It's un unprecedented. We have snow on the ground from like two days ago, it's nuts. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to make some sweet potato fries because to me, sweet potatoes go with cold weather like hats go with gloves, which is what I need both of right about now. Um, okay, let's do it. I'm gonna karate chop those sweet potatoes into tiny fries and you are gonna be so impressed. <laughs> Okay, so I just need like four ingredients, some sweet potatoes, some oil, salt and pepper, um, and if you wanted to add like other spices you could, cayenne pepper would be good, or coriander, or you could probably even make kind of sweet ones and do like some nutmeg on there, it'd be pretty delicious. Okay, pay attention, I'm gonna start cutting these up into the perfect size. I'm gonna peel these, you don't have to, this is totally optional, but I want to, and that's my prerogative. So, of course, you know, there's more nutrients if you leave the skin on, but it's not all about the nutrients, people. Gosh, okay. So, now the deal is we want to cut them into pieces that are about half an inch um, each way, like width and depth. Wait a second. Let's see. So I'm going to do that. And then about like that. And then another one. So then we have like pieces like this. And then I'm going to cut it this way into about a half inch this way now. And we are almost there now. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna do that with the rest of this and then we'll be ready to cook. So that's kind of ugly. I'm just gonna do that. And then, <gasps> whoa, on the diagonal. You could do it this way too. Beautiful. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I just cut out my sweet potatoes like you saw me do. And I'm gonna put them on my cookie sheet. A couple tablespoons of oil, kind of Drizzle it over, and then we'll toss it around to coat everything. And you will notice I didn't totally like cram as many sweet potato sticks as I could on here. So I don't want them to be too close together or else they're just gonna steam in their own moisture. And I want them to get a little bit crispy. Of course, these are not gonna be as crispy as like deep fried, but you know, they're also not as artery clogging, so it's kind of a trade-off there. Okay, and I'm gonna wait to do the spices until they're done. So everybody's touching the pan, they're not really touching each other, they're all coated in oil, looking smoking. Okay, 400 degrees, blam. All right, these are done, dudes. Check it! Okay, so now I'm gonna put my seasonings on. Okay, I'll do a little bit of coarse salt, some black pepper, and I don't put this on at the beginning because I don't want the pepper to burn. Um, and then a little bit of cayenne pepper. Whoa, let's see if I can sprinkle it evenly. Let's see, okay, wicked. Delish, okay, now I'm just gonna kinda Jimmy him around, and now I'm gonna taste one. Ooh, this one looks good. Mmm, mmm, man. Baking them really brings out the sugars, caramelizes the sugars, and they get really sweet. And then you put a bunch of cayenne pepper on them, and it's totally amazing. Mmm, okay, uh, sweet potato fries in the oven. For winter's sake, I give you this. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.